Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I pack for my guide dog Halo when we travel. So in the next two days, Halo and I are going to fly to Wellington to um, see friends and stuff like that. And we're going to be away for nearly two weeks. So um, everything I have kind of like around me is what I'm going to be packing for Halo. I find it stressful traveling with her. Um, she's a really good traveler, but I just... I find it stressful, it's like having a toddler, you have to make sure you've got everything that they need because um, not everything that she needs I can just go and buy from a shop. So that's why it's important that I have a checklist when I travel with her and check everything off to make sure that she has everything that she needs. Okay, so firstly, um, I have already got a bed for her in Wellington and I uh, also sent um, quite a big bag of dog food down because it's really hard traveling with big amounts of food. I'll start off with her equipment first. So when she travels on the plane, um, she doesn't wear her harness. She wears her jacket. So this is just a red guide dog jacket. Obviously you can see it says guide dog's really big on it. So she has her collar and leash and then this jacket um, and also it's a rain jacket as well so it's like a multi-purpose multi thing uh, but yeah she will wear this jacket on the plane with her leash so that she's more comfortable so that is like something that I cannot forget and then here is her leash um, it's got a clip here that I can make it longer or shorter. No, no, no babe, you sit down there. Good girl. It's got a thing that I can make it longer and shorter and I get a lot of questions where you buy these from and I don't know. Um, I know that people on Etsy make them because they're like, I don't know, you, you can't buy them from a pet shop. But a lot of guide dogs or service dogs or dogs that are in training for a specific reason use these leads. They're just really really good quality and like practical so that's her lead then i have her guide dog harness and this is obviously what she wears to guide with so what i'll do is she'll go to the airport wearing her harness i'll take the harness off her and hang it over my shoulder and then um when we get off the plane once we're like down the steps or the ramp I put this back on her while we're on the tarmac and then she'll guide me inside which it's, I've only flown with her once but it worked really well the first time and then on the side of it um, it's just got her poop bags which are an essential when you're traveling with any dog but especially a guide dog because they're working you can't kind of stop to take them you know for a big run so they can go to the toilet you need to toilet them sometimes in a hurry so it's really important to have poop bags um then uh just for when we're at um like at my friend's houses and things like that or just when she's having a bit of downtime i'll give her her bone and sometimes when she's a little bit anxious on the on the flight as well i'll hold this so that she can chew on it and just kind of distract her because she's not the best flyer she sits down but she's sort of very um, aware of like all the sounds and stuff. She does well but it's good to have a distraction. So she has this on the plane as well as just as a chew toy. Then she has to take her monkey because this monkey is her life. It stinks. It's ripped. It's like it's dying. But it's her favourite. Look like the stuffing is falling out of it as we speak. Just like shove it back in there. Anyway, this is her favourite and it's like a comfort thing. She will be away from home, so I like to give her toys that she's familiar with and like a blanket that she's familiar with as well. So this is an essential. And same as this. Um, if you watch my previous videos, you would have seen in a vlog. Halo actually picked this out from Kmart, so this comes as well. So like I said with the food, I've sent down a bag of food, but it won't be enough 
to carry her out for the whole two weeks because it's a small bag so I had to bring another little bag full of food and I wanted that on me just in case for any reason I am delayed or anything like that and I can't get to the address straight away to feed her so this is just a um, clear Ziploc bag full of her dog food and she's fed Hill's Science Diet light because she needs to be on a bit of a diet because Halo is a bit of a hefty hefty puppy so there's four days worth of food in here like that's a little bit excessive she probably won't need that much extra but if I don't use it I can bring it home so this is her food and then this is just her measuring cup um again it's just so I can monitor exactly how much she's eating she has two and a half cups a day one in the morning and one and a half at night so I just needed that to make sure that she doesn't get overfed um one of the places I'm staying there is a dog bowl for her but until then she needs a dog bowl so I got this one uh, from a pet shop actually very recently and it's just a portable um collapsible bowl I'm really sorry if I'm like this I really I can't see my camera so I can't see what you guys are looking at and I'm pretty sure I've got to focus on my face so that's why I'm like hey guys look at my dog bowl you know I know you can see it then but anyway like I said it's a double sided dog bowl one side can have her food the other side can have her water and it's really really good quality like it's sturdy I've had quite a few flexible flexible collapsible dog bowls and they have been rubbish and Halo has gone to drink out of them and the bowl has just collapsed as she's drinking so yeah I am very happy with this it was a good buy very good buy um Halo is extremely spoiled extremely spoiled and I give her a dental stick and these are just the um pedigree uh, dental sticks daily oral care and she has one of these every night just as a treat but also to keep her breath smelling fresh and clean so I had to take a couple packets of those and then just as like a treat she doesn't really get treats but um, I want to have some in my pocket just you know as like a food reward when she does something really good like it's, it is stressful traveling in the cities because we're not from the city so Halo isn't used to all the busyness of the city and the public transport. She does extremely well and hasn't shown signs of being too stressed. But I like to have treats just so like she knows or I'll use her kibble just so she knows she's doing a good job. And also, after a long day, like I am not bothered if she has a treat. Like a couple of treats. So these ones are the Natri's Goodness Grain Free. I don't even know what they are. Barbecue beef with tomato. So these are them, and they're just little, I don't even know, barbecue beef things. It kind of looks like um, that, oh, I don't know what they're called, but you buy them and they're like little meat. Oh my gosh, I can't describe anything. Is it beef jerky or whatever? That's what these remind me of. And they smell like that as well. Like, I reckon I could give this to someone and they'd probably eat it and wouldn't know it was a dog treat. So, if you're my friend, look out. And then, my papa was so cute. He, um, I live with him and he is absolutely obsessed with Halo. Anyway, he went and got Halo some Scooby Snacks for her holiday. So, when I mean, she's a good girl, she can have a Scooby Snack. And... She's never had these before, so I'm not sure if she'll like them, but yeah, she can she can try them in a few days. And we will see if she does like them. And then other than that, um, like all she will need is uh, I'll put a drink bottle in my bag so I can have water on me at all times, and I'll put another uh, roll of dog poop bags in my handbag so that again I don't run out although I never have but it's better to be safe than sorry um I think oh and a blanket I'll put her blanket in my bag just so that 
her scent is on whatever she's sleeping on because then she'll settle down and go to sleep. Uh, I take my guide dog ID. So when I get to the airport, when I'm going on the planes, sometimes you're asked to present this um, certification that your guide dog is registered in New Zealand. It's a working guide dog, ra ra ra. In New Zealand, people can ask for certification. And I know in a lot of other countries like America, you can't actually ask um, for an ID of a handler in their dog. But in New Zealand, for guide dogs especially, you are allowed to ask. And if a person cannot present you with their guide dog tag, or which should be on the collar of their guide dog, or um, their card, then the dog isn't real, unfortunately. And there are a lot of imposters out there. So, yeah, so um, like I said, when we travel, I have to make sure that I have, obviously, all her tags on her collar, which never come off. She needs to have her correct uniform, such as the jacket and the harness and all that kind of stuff. And she also has to have her ID just so that everything is like completely plain sailing and there's no issue, there's no questions. As long as I have that information, I've never had an issue with getting into public areas and having public, public access with like public transport and airplanes, airports, security at the airport. All things like that are covered if I have those documents on. Well, not documents, but the... Um, it's actually called a guide dog passport, which is quite cute. So as long as I have her passport on me, she can get anywhere. I will be doing a vlog of Halo and I travelling, so keep tuned for that. Uh, that's going to be so stressful for me because I'm travelling alone, so fingers crossed I can manage to actually film. It's not necessarily a confidence thing, it's just having enough hands because as soon as you've got a guide dog in harness, like one hand is gone and if I have a bag, then... But we will see. I will try my very best to film her on the plane or going on the plane and all that kind of stuff and how she travels and keep my fingers crossed that she behaves herself and we will, you know, get there and there will be no issues. It's all I take with me when I take my guide dog travelling. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in my next one. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And we have, I think... I think it was 37 subscribers when I checked last, which is crazy because, like, I didn't think anyone would care about what I do, what I do in my life. And I know 37 people isn't necessarily, like, I certainly don't have millions and millions of subscribers, but those 37 people, you guys are the true MVPs, and I really, really appreciate everything everyone has been saying. So, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!